be washed properly. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a happy... That's the dog. I feel like Morecambe and Wise. You know when your dog has rolled in fox boots, so you've got that smell, and then you wash them, and then you've got wet dog smell. And then you've Show got... them. That's her. That's where we're at. But she's so cute. She's just... She wants to snuggle up to me and all I can do is go like this. But she smells better than you What's still. What is this on children need? What's happening? They're, they're dancing like I'm going to dance in a minute. I could dance like you that. You could do that dance. Go on. Yeah, let me show you the dance. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. Um, it's got man flu. How are we all doing, guys? Is anyone else watching children? Cara Blears, I'm feeling like shit. And I want to just raise a Watch quick out. question. I'm not sure what... It's just a woman. I just want to ask a question, mm. subs. If a man gets flu, why is that always considered him being indulgent with man flu? Answer that question now. now just because when a woman telling. gets flu, she's usually... Still, still going to go to work, still yeah. look after the kids. But when a man gets flu, he just stops doing everything. That's not true. I didn't stop doing anything today. No, you didn't, actually. No, but most exactly. men do. And you moan and you blue and you roll, moan around and you go, oh, God. And, I'm getting oh. tired. <laughs> you haven't, I, I know I haven't got flu, but why do they call it man flu? Because man women still have to keep doing everything. The... I why keep do doing men everything. Why man flu move in slow motion, hanging onto the chairs? Look at your... Boobs. Oh. You know your boobs are hanging out. No, they're not. If only. What is this? If what's a woman gets flu, name? like what's that? Who's this presenter? I don't know. If woman gets flu, life goes on. Man flu, men moan much more. It's not true. It's just women don't like the idea that men get ill. It's just a what a load of It problems. is. It's like what is your problem? What do you mean? If we were to say woman flu, you'd call it sexism, wouldn't you? Like, oh, woman, oh, if my you, glasses don't if you, you even say you're premenstrual Some or menopausal, if you even say you're no, premenstrual, no, no, don't break them, don't break my glasses. If I was to ever say, oh, a bit hormonal, I'm being politically incorrect, but it's all right to say man flu. Deborah man Herbert, flu. men feel more sorry. Yes, thank you, Chloe Patterson, you're my friend. Yonica for life. says. Man flu is a very mild cold. Oh, I see. This is passive aggressive and it's just, you know. Oh, look. Rosalini, thank you, Mark, for making my husband start to exercise. Oh, that's cool. I've, you know what? I feel worse today because I didn't exercise. Nadia and subs versus Mark and man flu. Mm. Are there any other men out there backing me up? Come on, there must be at least one man. Beth, what does Beth say? That was a long message. Go back again. Beth. Beth. Guys, I got engaged on Saturday Aww. and owe it to you both. We Aww. watch your How to Stay Married. I'm like Mark, he's like Nadia. Aww. And it's really helped us understand each other. Thank oh, Beth Patterson. Wow, that is the coolest message. That's so that cool. That makes us so happy and you got engaged. My God. Oh, that's so lovely. Aww. If you're wondering what she's talking about, we do a podcast and we also put it on YouTube on How to Stay Married So Far. Because it's one day at a time, I just really. thought, okay. Well, it is one day at a time. Can you say hello to Dane and Len? Pudsy. How long has Pudsy been jumping about? Pudsy? He's yeah. the bear. I know, but how long has Pudsy he been Pudsy bear. About? Do you remember that time? Tell the subs about the time you went on Children in Need and it was really strange. I've never been on Children in Need. Yes, you have. When you did your driving test and your... That was comic relief. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Tell them about the time. Have we never been to Children in Need? I seem to remember going to Children in Need. Well, maybe we have. <coughs> What's that? Because men need a week in bed. I haven't been in bed at all. Charlotte Wood. Oh, look, it's Liam Payne. Let's have a little listen. Who's Liam Payne? I don't understand why everyone finds him so attractive. I don't find him attractive at all. Who is he? What Was he from One Direction? He's, not, he's had a baby music. with... Um, hey. Cheryl... Cole? Yeah. What? Everyone Cheryl loves Cole. Everyone loves him. What Cheryl? I mean, I'm sure he's perfectly nice, but I just don't understand the whole like everybody fancies Liam Payne. Hang on, has he actually had a baby with Oh Christ, sorry, we've missed all these comments. Has he had a baby with Cheryl Cole? 
Joe Wicks was on Children in Need? Debbie Rudge? Oh, Mark, we could have been there. You're joking. How's Teddy? What, our Teddy? Mm, he's he's all right, he's not great. He had to go to the hospital right. yesterday. He's all right, he's yeah. all right. He's all right. He had a mini camera put around his body. <laughs> Nadia, have you got Loose Women Words app? No. What? I don't even know what that is. What, what's loose? Did you, how did your singing go? I didn't sing alone. Do it now. No. I wish I could fly right up to the sky, but I can't. You can. I can't! Someone just said, show us your well, bum. that nearly burst my eardrum. Mark, no, don't do it again. Right up to the sky, but I can't. Oh, thank you. Someone's singing happy birthday. God, I completely forgot it's my birthday on one day. Completely forgot about that. Thank you, Jill Lister. This week's family feasts, 11.30 ITV, is really good. The chef, Zoe, is such good fun. We have a real hoot, I tell you. We're a bit too naughty, actually. D, I'm a celeb on Sunday. You're damn right. And we're, we're going to be, be there. That. Nance gonna be is going to be doing watching. live in the, in, in the intervals and the Instagram intervals. And we're going to do a watch along at the same time. It's going to be, we're going to be colliding in the middle of the lounge with our sticks. What we're are these called? To, I'm off to Manchester tomorrow with yeah. Jane Moore, Syra, Andrea, Denise, because it's Denise's charity ball in Manchester. So we're doing a loose woman table at a charity ball. Do you feel like your life is a constant party? No. It's Louis Tomlinson, not Liam Payne. Is it? Oh, shit. I was about to say, has he had a oh, baby yeah, with shit? <laughs> God, you're so plugged in, babe. She's so... <laughs> is he from One Direction? Yes, I know from that. from the Osmonds? 345 Berry, give her a shout out. Hello, 345 Berry. Um, it's my birthday in five days. That's the same as... No, it's not. Yeah, That's the same as Mark's me. It's birthday on Wednesday. Yeah. There's one day between our birthdays. Isn't that weird? And then it's Fleur's birthday on the 22nd. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's 39 days till Christmas, and you're going to see how our mince pie fest went yesterday. All I'm going to give away is... Oh Dina was very good at it, Nadia's sister. We... I've had... We've been on the Rennies ever since. We had so many mince pies. Oh, my God. But I tell you what, it's really worth watching because some of those mince pies were so... Don't give it away. Don't give it away. Shocker. Well, I wouldn't want people to waste their money on Don't them. want to do a mince... Yeah, well, they'll find out tomorrow. Samantha Barry says she'd like to see me in the jungle. Someone's just asked to see my bum. Well... Hello from Turkey. Why don't you just show them your bum? What? Well, they're always asking. The best people have birthdays in November, says Louise. Yeah, because the Scorpios. Yeah, it means we sting each other to death. <laughs> we are stingers <laughs> with stingers in the tail. <laughs> but apparently we like to sting ourselves. So what's everyone up to this weekend? I know what I'm up to. I'm going to phone up lots of people. I'm going to go out. We're going to go skipping. We're going to hold hands and we're going to look at things. What are you doing? I've just told everyone. I know what you're doing on Sunday. Sunday, I'm going shopping um, in Covent Garden for your birthday present. That's funny, because that's where I'm meeting you to go shopping for your birthday presents too. Isn't that weird? We'll both meet each other and then go off to buy birthday presents for each other. And isn't that funny? Faith Goodman's just asked, please, could you make some mince pies, Nadia? Yeah, I am. I'm going to do, I'm going to do like a, a mince, because you know most mince meat, you have to make it months ahead. I'm going to make one that you can make and it will be fine for December. And it really is worth making. Oh my God. And make your own pastry, crumbly, yummy, buttery pastry. And you know what? It's better to have fewer mince pies, but just have really delicious ones. Dawny Harvey, I'll always include you in my heart. Donny Harvey. Preparing for a teacher training interview. Chloe Patterson. You teachers don't half graft. Good luck. Uh, hey, from Scotland, beautiful people. Oh, thanks, Mary. Are you Christmas shopping? You see, I like that. She's ahead of the game. She's Christmas shopping. It's going to suddenly be flaming Christmas and it's going to be the week before and we're going to be running around like maniacs. So maybe we should do some Christmas shopping as well on my Sunday. Oh, but I'm almost definitely going to have a bit of a hangover, that's for sure. They have Crumble Extra Special in Asda. Hi, guys. All I'm saying to you is, guys, I was absolutely shocked by some of the mince pies. So we bought mince pies from 
Waitrose, Lidl, Marks and Spencers, Tesco, Sainsbury's, Aldi, Dutchie. We bought piles and piles of, of mince pies and we tried them all. And the results are shocking. Shocking. So when, what would that be up tomorrow night, Mark? Yeah, Cher Phillips is making her son's advent calendar as I watch. You're making an advent oh calendar. Oh my God, that's so you cool. You are like top Did you see mum. on Stacey's Instagram, she made her own crackers? I really want to do that. I think it's really nice. Why don't we? Because we don't have many of us here for Christmas and then we can have a really nice present in each one. Each person makes a cracker for somebody else with a present in it. I hate crackers. Crackers what, are you really boring. are miserable. Crackers are boring. I love crackers. They fly across the room, you get them, you've always had them before. <laughs> It's tweezers. That's why it's, it's good. a magnifying glass. That's why glass. it's good to make your own one, so you can it's put a, a proper present. It's a right, I'm pack going of to cards. give you the chance to make me a cracker and put a diamond in it. Eh? I'm going to give you the chance to make a meaningful cracker. Yeah, I am miserable, Gabrielle. Yeah, what of it? He's right miserable. It's because he's got his bloody man. Face. I've been cheerful all day. Do you know when you have a whole day when you haven't had one nice cup of tea? Oh, no, we did at the meeting that we went to today. That girl made me a lovely cup of tea. But every other cup of tea is all for Mark. It's a big problem, and I want to tell you this on a public forum. What? But get ready for this. What are you about to say? Your tea has become shit. Well, that's interesting, because your tea's always been shit. Mark, come you have on. Always I'm made... a winner of Celebrity no, Masterchef. you stand there idly looking at the ceiling while she just... I've got my own cookery you... show. Yeah, I know it doesn't how to mean make anything. You can't even separate an egg. <laughs> Bullshit. I do a better and turkey and chicken than you. I once made Here's the steak. thing. Your tea has never been good. When you ask me for a cup of tea, Mark. you ask me if I want a cup of tea, a little part of me dies. Right, a little part what, of me crumbles away. I tell you away. what, I'm never going to make you another bloody cup of tea as long as I live because I put a lot of care into it. Do you know what? Do you know what? That would be a blessing. Does your partner make your tea how you want your tea to be made? Or do they end up making it how they want it to be made? And in fact, the other night when I gave you your tea, you looked at me, you cut off your conversation and you went like this. Safe. You went, that's really nice. That's what you said. Well, why can't you do me another I one? I do do that all the time. You just don't notice. You're just, you just, you're just crackers. Yeah, but the thing is, I like it a rich caramel colour with one sweet. Thanks, nut. Rachel, Vincent, and I agree. And these days you're making it look like chicken soup... And you put about five sweeteners in to the point it takes my okay. roof my mouth Okay, when up. I ask you if you Stop want a cup shouting. of tea, I'm going to shout because if Stop. I don't shout, I don't get a word in Edways. A lot of people would agree that I'm struggling to say anything right now. So right now, what I'm going to say to you is, whenever, you, I, whenever I offer you a cup of tea, you say, uh, can I have it with the, not a lot of this, bit of that, in a small mug, a splash of milk, more milk, less milk, no sweetener, one sweetener, hold the tea bag in for a while, not for a while, mug or cup. I am high maintenance. Right? I so high maintenance that you have destroyed the pleasure of making a cup of tea. I literally can't believe how hideous my leg is. Let's show it. It's so dry, look, and so hairy. You've got hairier <laughs> legs than me. <laughs> Do they get hairier the higher up you go? Mark. <laughs> that really does. My husband always makes my tea too hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's I like funny. that. Who said that? Too hot. Melody so you want Hawkins. More milk? Do you want more milk? <coughs> Sorry. Mark, Nadia, does give you the chance to speak. All right, Catherine, whose side Thank are you, you on? Thank you, Catherine. Yeah. He never bloody... What makes me laugh is Tell there's this... You what. I... There you go. Go on. There's this idea that I talk all the time like, he never shuts up. Sorry. Oh, there's a circus on. We're missing the circus. I don't like circuses. They're Children boring. Need. Circuses are boring. End of week. You're both tired and ratty. Sue Watson, you're right there. You're not wrong. We are it's not weirdos, Nadia, dog. says Samantha O'Hanlon. No, no. You're, you're not, not weirdos. Weirdo. But if he keeps carrying on the way he is, we're going to get weirdos for subs. And we don't want weirdo subs. We like not a nice sub. See those shoes behind us? Maddie was standing in those. She just vaporised. Look, <laughs> she just disappeared. <laughs> Is Mark like that of a morning when he gets up? No, I'm all cheerful and light in the morning. Scott Mark says Mark could be a clown. Scott. Go on, Mark. Why don't you do one of your dances? I can't. I feel too fragile. Why don't you get up and break dance? Oh, my God. Do something. I don't you didn't sing a do. solo. Ni <laughs> Nicola Craig. I'm, I'm a weirdo. weirdo. <laughs> You're turning us into weirdos <laughs> tomorrow he, day. He is. He's she turning... is. Mark. Look at your boobs. 
But it's, oh, this is an idea for a Christmas present. You What's see that? this? I like they've got them in the green and they've got them in the pale yellow. They're my favourite shoes. That's Urban, the most expensive shop on the planet outfit. Outfitter. What size is it? Uh, this is interesting, guys. <laughs> Do you want to come in with me? No, Can but you if, if there's any men watching or women and you want a nice snuggly shirt, this is the softest, Just have to have a look. most comfortable shirt. Right. <laughs> Ma, don't you tickle me. <laughs> Ma, don't it tickle I don't like it. <laughs> Ma. <laughs> I think you're a size 40. Ma, don't. It's really annoying. Ma. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> God, there's a lot of things there, aren't there? <laughs> what are these things? Mark, <laughs> get off! It's hurting. I hate being tickled. I feel really ill. You didn't even see what size it was. 12. <laughs> it's not a 12. I couldn't see a size. I'm going to say that I was trying to hold it and let I'll have a feel. <laughs> <laughs> but don't tickle me, Mark, because I don't I'm like it. Tickle, don't man. tickle me. I'm not going to tickle Don't you. tickle me. I'm not. I'm not. Ah! <laughs> Mark! Stop it, I don't like it. Mark, please. It doesn't stop have it. a size. Stop it. Gosh, this is like emu. Do you remember emu? Oh, my God. <sighs> Bloody hell. Oh, what was that? Mark, can I have a feel? Weirdos, you see? All weirdos. You don't have to tell me it's you that's making weirdos come. Baby, you smell of fox shit. Anyway, good evening if you've just joined us on our YouTube channel. I do I wish I had a man like that. But I must admit that's to you... That's from Dwayne The Rock Johnson. That he's always this annoying. It's not an idea. Debbie idea. Howard, I hate being tickled. Oh, God. If I my hate. Tim comes near me trying to tickle me, I scream. I just can't... It's horrible, Heather. isn't it? Because it's, like, frightening. No, I haven't you, got It's awful because you can't stop laughing so people think you're having a good time. But you just want it to stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. <laughs> oh, Mark, it's only man flu. Get on with it. Just like us women have to shout out, please. Charlene Aiden Fox. <laughs> I wasn't moaning about it. She was. Maddie, will be so, Maddie and Kiki will be so cross with you both. Why, Claire? <laughs> because I touched you. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm sat next to you. How's Nanny Di doing these days? She's okay. She's struggling along. She's going to be around tomorrow, actually. Yeah, she's um, not brilliant. She's not brilliant. They know, don't they, that she lost her. Yes, so. yeah. Hello from Derby. I am that ticklish that it hurts me. I know what you mean. But do you, do, Lu, Louise, but do you also laugh? Because that's the confusion. Don't you think it's such a weird thing that you get tickled and you laugh, but you're hating it? Zoe, it's your fault for going into that hot tub. Now, Thank here's you, the Zoe. thing. A number of people said that if I went into the swingers' hot tub... Now, he headline here, the Daily Mail, Nadia Sawala off the telly's husband gets into swingers' hot tub and ingests flaky skin from armpits of countless Mark. swingers. I think that's what happened. Because there's no two ways about it. When I blow my nose, there's bits of a guy called Derek and a woman called Beryl, Oof. and I, I think they had a pampas grass outside Oof. their bungalow. Pampas grass is a sign of swingers. Yeah, that's what's coming out of my tissues. <laughs> Bits of swingers. <laughs> it's not the swingers' fault. <laughs> Ange Crummins. Gross. <laughs> it's not gross, is it? Yes. Very, very gross. I could say something. Did you wipe down the headboard? Please I didn't say it, I just sick. read it out. Oh, my God, that hotel. Do you know that I took my mother out to the theatre the other night and she came up to me, Nadia, and she said like this. She went like this. Nanny Di. I went, what? She said, I rarely, rarely tell you off. I was like, fucking hell. What's Who's going that? on? My mum. I what, said, what? What was she telling you off for? All of my innuendo in the bedroom. Oh, really? Yeah. Did she said it was disgusting? Yeah. Well, it was. I said, shut up. It doesn't Gary. make any bloody difference. You Thank might... you, Sophie. I just read your comment. Uh. 16 year old. Thank you, 16-year-old Sophie. That was very sweet of you. What did you see at the theatre? Something called Antipodes. <laughs> oh, look, Wonder Woman says she'd love to stay in that hotel. Wonder Woman said... Oh, well, I won't say what she said earlier. Uh, when are you putting your Christmas tree up? I bet Mark's a dirty boy. <laughs> I wash myself every day. When are you putting your... When are we putting our Christmas tree up? 
We will be, it, you will see it. Up. She's scratching so her knee vehemently. Vlogmas starts on the 1st of December. Can't it start a bit earlier? Please. Do you want Vlogmas to start earlier, guys? Big Bad Barry wants your wife. Mark, I want your wife. Big Bad Barry. Oh, God. <laughs> Big Bad Barry, you worry me. Um, can you tell my boyfriend to stop fighting? Lisa M. Lisa, hang on M. one second. Lisa M's boyfriend. Stop. Stop <laughs> farting. Right? Stop. Mark, do the action. <laughs> Lisa M's boyfriend, you've been told. Nah, nah. <laughs> and again. <laughs> right, Lisa M, boyfriend, enough. Any other requests? <laughs> How else can we help you? <laughs> Mark, you call. I must say, I haven't seen anything really happen on Children in Need yet. Well, I think Children in Need is a fabulous, fabulous like cause. Of but it's and one things. of the most boring nights on telly. Mark, you can't say I that. I just said it. Mark. Half the nation's thinking it. We all want to give them money, but it's as boring as pig shit. Mark. It just is. <laughs> Sorry. I'm bored. Mark. Mark. What are you doing? You're Watch being the children in need. <laughs> What? Someone's cycling for three hours, Mark, three years. Mark! Stop I'll it. give the money anyway. Now stop it. <laughs> I mean it. Heather Todd agrees. Well, Heather Todd better not agree. Mark, that flu's gone straight to your head. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true, Mark. Laura, I'm joking, darling. I'm waiting for Gogglebox too. We love Gogglebox. We actually haven't seen one minute of Children in Need. I'd like to point out before Mark says it's how true, boring actually. it is. No, He's not watched one minute of no, it No, it is yet. true. Opinions on non-green Christmas trees. I think they're terrible, Sophie. <laughs> well done for getting your opinion in quick. <laughs> uh, what's your opinion on non-green Christmas? What, like white Christmas? Yeah, I know Christmas. what you mean, like white Christmas. A white Christmas tree? Yeah. Mm. Mark, have you ever been tested for ADHD? You're very much <laughs> like my six-year-old son. Could I swap him for your six-year-old son, um, Yeah, what did you say? Do you like <laughs> non-green Christmas trees? I don't know whether you mean green as in good for the planet or green as in colour. That's a good point. You're going to have to clarify, Sophie. Clarify. Okay. I like a real Christmas tree because I really like that feeling of getting a pine needle in your toe. What's that? Don't you? How far back do you want to go? Before Christ? You're going very <laughs> far, babe. You've gone into yesterday's <laughs> vlog. Where <laughs> far back are you going? <laughs> totally. No, no. Guys! I totally agree with our children. <laughs> Big Bad Barry's just said marry me, Nancy. Yeah. Mark, stop no, it! No, Mark likes any... Don't make up people. Um, there's a Big Bad Barry. Mark, stop. It's real. The Oxyflex, I agree with Mark. I'd give them money to stop. Maybe that's their strategy. Bore us to death, throw Mark, money at the telly. Mark, Mark. <laughs> you can't. This is children in Darling, me. I know. It's an important thing. But there's going to be someone sitting in an office editorialising and deciding how to make it interesting. And they fail every year. <laughs> I have a rose gold Christmas tree this year. Rose gold. What did you get the girls for their stockings last year? That's very specific. Father question. Christmas gets. No, we never, that's right. We no, never we never get do the stockings. That's always Father Christmas. Yeah. Always. Nishant Kumar says duck. Oh, colours, white, black, or red. Oh, no, I don't like a white bee. Why did you marry your wife? <laughs> <laughs> you make me laugh. You too. <laughs> I'm stopping now. Mark is a weirdo. <laughs> All right. All right. I don't feel like I'm wanted anymore. Does Father Christmas ever what? Poo. Even exist? Of course, Father Christmas. What kind of a question is that? God, God almighty. What Those that don't believe, a... don't get presents. I know. Don't forget the girl. Do you remember last year? You I can be Samantha O'Harlan's weirdo any day. Oh, we're supposed to be getting all the bloody calendars to, to review them. You said you were going to buy them. I mean, I'll tell you through. what, Matt, guys, it's costing us a oh. fortune buying all this bloody stuff to review. <laughs> it's only for a little bit peaky. 
Don't believe, don't receive, yeah. Big Bad Barry yeah. says, Nadia, you have a beautiful smile. There's nobody called Big Bad Barry. Right, Big Bad Barry. I'm so sorry she keeps denying you. There he is. Oh, yeah. Big Bad Hello. Barry. Hello. I bet you're not bad. Oh, yeah. Big Bad Hello. Barry. Hello. I bet you're not bad. Uh, um... Mince Pie Video, coming tomorrow. Just heard your podcast trailer on Spotify. Yeah, do head over to Spotify How or iTunes. How embarrassing. Well, it was the producer who called Mark, it. Mark, you should never have said that in well, the I first Well, I realised that after I said it, it, I thought. It's the most Mark thing he's ever done. Where can they listen to it if I'll they put the links underneath this when it's posted. Yeah, Mark will put the links underneath. I know, I do apologise, guys. I don't really know what it's got to do with being a parent. What did it, what were we Why talking are you about? Even mentioning it. Why were we talking about it? Oh. Were you talking about teenage drinking? Teenage drinking. Yeah, and alcohol. Oh, God, but you won't yeah. even believe what he says. All right. I can't believe I didn't know that story. Babe, what did your do you know what? girlfriend say at the time? She was very sweet, Jane. She was very sweet And she about saw it. all of it happen? Yeah, she was kind of in the room at the same time. Oh, Mark, please now stop. I think I took her eye out. Mark! <laughs> <laughs> I'll put the link below. Um, what? <laughs> I think you better turn this off because you just yeah, sorry. badly behave. It's because I feel ill. I think I've had a lot of cough medicine, a lot of lem sips. <sighs> Nadia's like my pudsy bear. Aren't you? You're going to be my pudsy bear tonight. Mark, it's time to say goodbye. Will you be my pudsy bear? Will you let me scratch Somebody your said back? There, they've noticed people getting weird. Somebody Hold said we've head. noticed people Hold. getting weird on here. What? Hold the stick. And I mean the selfie stick. Mark, stop it. What? We're out. Ah! No! 